Of the three candidates hoping to unseat President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, reformist Mir Hussein Mousavi, he's been uh, seen as having the best chance, actually. In fact, many observers say the vote could depend on how many young people and how many women turn out at the polls. They are some of Mousavi's biggest supporters. Shabnam Reza was, uh, excuse me, Rezai. Sorry about that. Was actually born in Tehran. Her parents still live there. Now, as a U.S. citizen, she's joining us today from Vancouver, British Columbia. Thank you for being here because I know you have a really interesting perspective on all of this. You have been able to talk with some of your family and friends. Uh, what are they saying about how this election is, is shaping up? Hey, Heidi. Thanks for having me. Uh, my family and friends are all very excited about the elections. I was talking to a friend of mine last night who's a female. A journalist and she's just been very excited about the rallies on the streets and I don't know if you know but in Tehran and in Iran in general uh, a lot of the celebrations take place in the privacy of people's homes and the last few days it's given cause for people to celebrate and be on the street till four in the morning oh yeah and that sort of, you know has that party atmosphere that makes the place feel really safe We've actually seen quite a bit of that uh, that video on our air here. Uh, in fact, I, I find so much of this very interesting because uh, there is a majority of women there, and this now appears to be uh, something that is really having an effect in this particular election this time around. Why? What's the significance? Well, I think what Musavi has done, which is brilliant, are, are two things. He has Khatami on his side, who is the, the reformist, and so fans have come over to the Musavi camp. And his secret weapon, I like to call, is Zahra Ranavad, who is his wife. She's an educated academic. She's run the university, Azahra University. She's a professor, um, very well respected, charismatic leader and speaker. And she's gone out on the campaign trail with him, which is a first yeah. in Iran's history. And so that has caused all the women and youth votes to swing over to Musavi because for the first time they see that um, someone is actually, you know, actively going after the woman vote, which is more than 50% of the population. That's right. And as you know, two thirds of the student university uh, universities uh, students are female. So yeah. that vote is critical. Now the incumbent president Ahmadinejad. Um, his wife has not obviously gone out on the campaign trail, but they've caught on. And all the other candidates, as well as the incumbent president, huh. have promised that they will bring on female leaders once they get elected. Yes. So clearly, these candidates are going after the female vote. Yeah, very interesting. I, in fact, have never seen Ahmadinejad's wife. Uh, but listen, I, we do have a little bit of sound that, that came in from uh, Musavi's wife. I'm going to go ahead and listen to that here. I'm here to say that men and women are equal, she tells us. We've made this promise to the women and we'll stand by it, she says. There she was uh, speaking to our Christiane Amanpour, who's actually in Tehran right now. Uh, is she really the candidate here? I think you could say that. I mean, it's sort of, I, I hate to compare it, but Michelle Obama and President Obama or uh, Hillary Clinton and Clinton when Clinton was running. She's clearly more charismatic when she speaks. She clearly uh, gets the youth and the women vote, which is very, very important in this election, given the demographics of Iran, the population being more than 70% is under the age of 30. And Mustafi's campaign has been very nicely managed in that they're using Facebook and Twitter and yeah. text messaging to get to the young voters. Yeah, so, so interesting. I think probably the biggest difference, though, is that we did see uh, Hillary Clinton actually run for president. Why didn't she run for president? Well, I think it's difficult still. I mean, the, the Guardian Council still has to approve the candidates. Musabi has a great great track record. He was mm -hmm. PM from 80 to 88, and his track record was strong. He's not as charismatic a leader, sort of maybe a John Kerry uh, would be our equivalent, but he certainly has picked the right people around him, and that's what's important for an election campaign. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we sure do appreciate your perspective very much. Coming to us via broadband out of uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Shabnam Rezai. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, See you later.